The latest now in a new trial for a Kenosha County man previously convicted of poisoning his wife with antifreeze as a jury has been selected after a second day. Bill Miston is live to explain the two big questions posed to potential jurors today. Bill? That's right, Ted. Could they commit the amount of time needed for the trial more than a month? And what did they know about the case? And the answers to those two questions quickly narrowed the available pool of potential jurors. Nearly 100 jurors were brought into the largest courtroom in the Kenosha County Courthouse Tuesday morning, 94 in total, all to be asked one question. Can they commit to serving on a trial that's expected to last more than a month after an hour of individual questioning, only 37 remained. By the end of two days of jury selection and more than 200 people, 64 jurors were left. 16 will be selected, but ultimately 12 will decide the fate of Mark Jensen. The now 62-year-old was convicted in 2008 of killing his wife, Julie Jensen, at their Pleasant Prairie home in 1998. Jensen's getting a new trial after a letter from his wife was ruled inadmissible. Prosecutors allege Mark Jensen began poisoning Julie with antifreeze in December 1998, drugged her with sleeping meds, and later suffocated her to death. Jensen's maintained his innocence and argues Julie died by suicide and framed him with that letter that's now inadmissible. Now, the 16-person jury was selected just about an hour ago. It's made up of nine men and seven women. The jury's been excused for the day, and they're going to be coming back tomorrow. They'll be sworn in, given some instructions, and then opening statements will begin. Reporting live in Kenosha, Bill Miston, Fox 6 News. And we'll be there as well. Bill, thank you.